So we're building, we built a automated bird trapper for the lab of ornithology. What they do is that um, they every summer they study and trap a lot of tree swallows. So now this we have a bird house that can automate, automated, automatically trap the tree swallows when they go in. So this thing is called a whipwag. Is sort of the part where they manually trap the birds with. Normally they use a, use a string to pull this shut. Now we use a servo motor, and and there's a servo motor down there. Yep. Okay. And um, we use a passive infrared sensor in the upper compartment where we usually put a camera to monitor the birds to see when the birds get in and trip the, and trip the servo motor. This is the compartment where the birds live in. The coffee mug represents where the bird nest used to be. <laughs> so, all right, so this is just, this is the coffee mug uh, uh, altitude adjuster. Yes. Instead of the nest, okay. And then driving this is a, is a microcontroller, which right now is spread out, but in the final version will be inside the house. Uh, yes. The final version will have that in the, where the camera used to be. All right, and, and uh, this device is? This is, um, this is a UR and serial to Wi-Fi antenna. So we use it to talk to the microcontroller to send a Wi-Fi signal to a web server where we post a monitoring website. Okay, and so over here we have... Uh, over here we have the, the easy to use user front end. And the idea is that you can sit in the comfort of your own office and monitor the status of multiple trappers at the same time instead of having a visually observe them. And it'll dynamically update about every 10 seconds or so. With okay. the status of each trapper. All right. So, so now the the status is green, which means that there's no bird in there, right? There's no bird, but no problem. No bird, but no problem. Now pop the model bird into the into the nest. Very nice. The bird got trapped. Now we go back over here, and about five seconds later or so, assuming the link is still up. Yep. As soon as the as soon as the packet comes through, and then refresh it. There it goes. And it's it's being pushed, so it went to yellow, which is triggered. Very cool. And so the next step then is to the next step is to package everything into a into a portable module that can be powered um, by batteries, so that we can install this device in any of the 300 uh, more of more um, nest boxes in the region and trap birds. Thank you.